Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Noah Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how you can transfer your previous old Skyrim saves to the new Skyrim Special Edition if you don't want to restart again. You just want to experience the game in its new kind of form. But if you want to start again, that's fine. You know, have multiple saves. It's all good. So I'm actually going to show you how to do this. So when you launch up the Special Edition, the menu is a bit different, it's all, all good. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you how to do this. So, what you do is you launch up the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, the regular version, not the special edition. You go to your data files. You disable all, all your mods except DLCs. DLCs are fine. Okay, I've done that, so I just click cancel. Then click play. Okay oh yeah, guys, so once you've loaded up the game, you click you continue the save you want to load up. Okay, so here we go in my Ashley Demage save. Um, this is the last bit where I left off in my Elder Scrolls Let's Play. As you can see, I have no armor on, mainly due to I got rid of the mod that, that has that armor. So what you do is you press escape, you save with no mods. This is the save that I'm currently using, 93. Once you've saved, you just quit the game. And now I'm going to show you where to find everything um, that you need. Here you go, so you go to Documents. You then go to My Games. You go to Skyrim. You go to Save. And then you open up a new file. Like this. Then you go to Documents. My Games again. Skyrim Special Edition, and then saves. Oop. Saves. Okay, so once you're at this part, you have two saves that have the same name. This is the uh, Skyrim Script Extender save, I think. And here is the actual Elder Scrolls Skyrim save file. So you want to drag and drop this into your Elder Scrolls Special Edition saves. And I've already done that, so I won't do it. This is the one I've got here. And um, so this is the one I've got here, and the one above it, 92, is the one that had mods that I tried and it didn't work. So once you've put your save onto there, you then load up the special edition, and I'm going to show you how to load up the game. So once you've sorted all your settings, you then click play. There you go, so once you're on the main menu for the Skyrim special edition, click load, show all saves. And then 93 in the canyon, as you can see, this is, um, yeah, this is today's date. And this is my actually domain level 14, which I'm currently playing on youtube.com forward slash no gaming. If I now click on this, it will load up that save and how I last left it in the Skyrim normal edition. Okay, guys, so once the Skyrim special edition is actually loaded up, um, I don't notice a difference between loading, I actually think it's probably a little faster, but that might be because I don't have any mods installed at the moment. Um, so as you can see, it's the same save, I haven't got my armor because it doesn't exist in this world. Also, Shay isn't here because he doesn't exist in this world either, because he was um, an add-on that I created. Um, he probably could have been transferred on, but I didn't know how to do it and how to risk it. Uh, I don't want to risk it. So, now the one question that I don't actually know is how to get your mods back. Because as far as I'm aware, this is a new thing. Uh, explore mods. So I assume if you sign into Bethesda.net using this, you get a whole list of um, mods on the website and probably the Nexus, I think. I don't know. I haven't... I've forgot my username and password for Bethesda, so I can't log in yet. Uh, but there's a load order for the content you currently have. But yeah, I I assume it's just like a browser of mods that are here. That's what it seemed like in some of the screenshots I saw for the console edition. So I assume it's probably roughly the same. But obviously I can't, um, you know, I can't log in and show you that I can download the mods again. But anyway, until next time guys, uh, this is a quick tutorial on how to transfer your saves. 
and I wanted to get this out as soon as possible. I wanted to be the first one to do this. Literally, the special edition has been out about an hour. It's awesome. Like, you, I don't know if you can tell on YouTube about like textures and stuff, but I think this game looks. You can tell a difference. Well, I can anyway, and it looks awesome. I'm not even playing on the higher setting right now, and I, I love it. Um, so guys, until next time, please like, favorite, subscribe. They got rid of the favorite button years ago. Please like, rate, subscribe. Um, comment down below what you want to see in the future. And until next time, goodbye.